Right, while we're here at the bench working on the installation of a Ford Controls design RHF handguard, um, wanted to highlight some of the other products here that we've got. Uh, this time in particular, we're uh, talking about gas blocks. So this is a barrel that shipped uh, from the manufacturer with a already uh, an already pinned gas block. Um, so this should be a, a value added component for somebody um, to receive a barrel that is pinned at the factory. Um, dimpling your own barrels or pinning your own barrels uh, is, is, is a complicated thing and, and not having to send out a barrel um, is, is an asset for most folks. Um, the thing that we wanted to show is that uh, this particular gas block uh, isn't all that impressive. So uh, the gas journal on a barrel uh, is supposed to be 0 0.750 inches and the the interior diameter of of the gas block is supposed to be 0 0.750 inches plus or minus a few thousands now the reason that we mention that is that uh, there, there's a there's a window of tolerances that are going to exist for what the diameter the external diameter of this barrel is and what the internal diameter of this of the of these gas blocks are and just because something says it's a 0 0.750 gas block uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's on the, the high side of that tolerance window or the low side of the tolerance window. And the greater that window is, um, the higher the likelihood is that, that when you go to put your two parts together, that you might not have the best of fits here. Now, why this matters is if this is loose, you know, it doesn't really rattle or anything necessarily, um, if this is a little bit loose and it allows gas to escape, we've got a less efficient rifle than we need, right? We're experiencing recoil for no benefit. You know, the, the, the rifle's gonna need more gas to drive it to accommodate that gas that's leaking out from that area. So having a snug fitting gas block is very important. Uh, a gas block is an area of the gun that gets very hot and as things get hot, they expand. So the idea that this could potentially leak gas uh, when it gets hot, um, that's, that, that could be a, a very real possibility. So that was the included, uh, gas block. Like I said, this is supposed to be a 750 gas block. And here we're going to show, this is a, uh, new in the box, uh, four designs, GBF, their gas block. Now, um, this does come in a, uh, in a protective wrapper. You'd usually see, we just took it off for the, for the purposes of the video. Um, and, um, it's, it's a neat gas block. It's got a boss here that makes it easier to pin through if you do decide to do it. Uh, it's going to come with um, your, your gas tube roll pin as well as two of the fasteners. Um, we took one out here for a second uh, for, for another purpose. It also has a hole in the front so that you can drive a stubborn gas tube out through it. But the real purpose of why I'm showing you this is that, that this particular gas block does not Do you see what's going on here? You see how tight of a fit that is? That's that's what separates a manufacturer from holds from holding really high tolerances and a manufacturer from not holding high tolerances. These should be a little stubborn to put on. You know, this this takes a little bit of convincing uh, with a rubber mallet to drive this into place. So not all gas blocks, um, not all parts really are created equal. And sometimes if, if something's a little bit more expensive, uh, there, there might be a reason for it. And that quality control is, 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 really, uh, is, is really the difference. So um, again, you, you compare that to um, what it came with and you, you can see for yourself. Um, while we're on the subject of the gas blocks, we're gonna show, uh, this is the gas block, uh, the gas pin tool. Um, this is just a neat thing for your bench. So um, when you need to uh, install your gas tube, um, this can stabilize the assembly on the bench. Um, so as you're driving that roll pin in, um, you've got that nice and sturdy uh, and easy to work with. Um, now you can also just attach your gas tube once it's stabilized on the barrel and the, ba the barrel's doing that for you if you wanna work up here in the air. Uh, but uh, this is a great, um, jig that will securely hold most gas blocks in place. Um, but again, um, not every gas block is going to fit and 
in this case, the problematic uh, block that we're talking about. This one actually is, is a little bit too long for it. So uh, make sure to check the product page to see if you have a particular question about uh, a brand of gas block that you already have, if it's gonna fit in that jig. Um, we do uh, the best job we can of trying to list all of all of the brands that are compatible here. Um, but obviously the Ford Controls gas block is a, uh, is a perfect fit here in that gas pinning tool. So just wanted to showcase that to you guys. Um, like I said, some barrels are maybe uh, a little bit undersized. Maybe some are a little bit oversized. Some gas blocks are a little bit undersized, a little bit oversized. Uh, a, a manufacturer has a, a, a bushel of these. And if one's a little bit loose, you know, they can kind of throw it back in the bin and, and maybe grab another one that, that's a little bit tighter of a fit. Um, every now and then, you know, people can, can ship stuff um, that, that's less than ideal. Uh, but the reason we mention that is, you know, if you're at home building your gun or a couple of guns, uh, and you don't have 10 of these sitting in a box to pick and choose from, um, the hassle of, of being signed by something that you're not really happy with. And now you've got to get a return label and send it back and go buy a new one and, and pay shipping again on something else. Um, sometimes it, it is easier, uh, to just buy the known quality, higher quality product, uh, up front. Um, that you've got a, a much higher chance of getting that fit that, that you're after, uh, that you can be confident in. And, and now we've just got one less thing on our mind. Uh, if we do experience any issues with these guns, this is a virgin build. Uh, if we take it out, go to shoot it, have any problems, um, well, you know, leaky gas uh, could easily be uh, the culprit. We can eliminate that through the use of, of components that just simply have higher quality control standards to them. So um, figured you guys might enjoy that. So again, that's the GBF from Ford Controls. Um, highly recommend it. And uh, maybe it'll save you some headache on a build someday too. Thanks.